you drag and drop your file here and all that you have to do is click run the complete pipeline. What it does is auto compute all the heuristics to know exactly the best voxel size and it will generate, as you can see here, the voxelized dataset from the original point cloud. So it's like building an entire Minecraft world and that works for many various point cloud that I have. This is a bigger one. You just click here, take some time, all right, and let's view this other point cloud. Yeah, you see, uh, pretty good. And you can also then save it as an OBJ file or a PLY file, which will generate the full 3D mesh from exactly what we inputted. This is actually very, very useful. And you can turn that into a SaaS or a service that you provide where people send you any point cloud and return a voxelized entity. But most often than not, let's bring in, a, let's say another, another example that I have, this one maybe, run complete pipeline. This should be pretty short, okay. This is the voxelized thing. And more often than not, actually, voxelization is just super key inside of a complete workflow. So you, that could be um, using a 3D reconstruction mechanism to generate a point cloud and then making this point cloud uh, structured through this voxelization, but then retaining it for the after modeling with a voxel-based approach. And down the line, you retrieve the mesh. So this is also a super quick way to create collision mesh uh, when you work with 3D Gaussian splatting. And this is something I don't see a lot, but I will encourage you to do that. So how to make that work, this application, 